ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the other stuff, all the other ones too, it's time. It's the, I mean, it's not episode, it's not episode nine, but it's, we've been waiting for a live action Star Wars series for a long time. I'm, I'm, they, they, Lucas has been saying he was going to make one of these since the original trilogy. So here's what we know. We know that this is not Boba Fett. We know that he's not going to be in the series. We know this is, just, this is another Mandalorian. Yeah, I know. Maybe Boba Fett. I, 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 maybe Boba Fett's not a Mandalorian. I, I don't know. I don't care about that. What I care about is I've got the video queued up and I'm, and I'm already seeing stormtroopers and dirt over here and just, I'm excited for this. So let's check it out. Hold on, I ain't got no audio. Why do I have no audio? Oh, that is not an empire friendly neighborhood. He has a really nice looking ship. I saw I saw pictures of this in the poster. Which it looks familiar. Why am I play I forgot he was in this, my man. Gina Reno. Oh, he was riding a do-back? A Twi'lek? Oh the it looks really good. Like the cinematography. He has the freaking gun from the holiday special. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Was that IG freaking 88, but like not frozen, standing still, not doing anything? That was, oh my God. We got to do, we, we're looking at that again. Yeah, I don't care if, uh, y'all can talk amongst yourselves. We're doing it again. That ship, I, 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 I feel bad that I don't recognize that I'm not placing that ship design. I've seen it somewhere before. You know what it looks like? It looks like the, 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 the ship from Battle Beyond the Stars. The, the ship John Boy flew. Man, everything looks so good. These stormtroopers are like shiny. I know this dude. November 12th. Oh my god, that speeder bite. I didn't even see the scout walker. We even got the classic, we even got classic aliens, which, you know, and we got carbonite. Don't you agree? I actually don't know the time. Oh, that is, a, that is a great animated logo. So we don't actually, I don't actually know the time period. I have made sure to not like read too much about this just because I wanted to be kind of surprised when the trailer finally dropped. But... I don't know what time period this is. It looks, obviously it looks like it's um, original trilogy era. So did he just get the idea from Boba Fett? Hey man, uh, Car Carbonite's an effective way to transport prisoners. Like, duh, no kidding man. And no one is happy about being frozen in Carbonite. They all got the same uh, uh, Han Solo look. And I only learned, only reason I recognize the gun is because I heard um, Favreau say earlier today, 
on one of the many D23 videos I was checking out that he uh, uh, that he borrowed from the holiday special. It's it's the it's the same tuning fork gun from the holiday special, which is just amazing to me. Favreau is very clearly a hardcore Star Wars nerd. I mean, that's some deep cuts right there, man. And just they get the CGI looked really good. They spared no expense for this. I honestly thought it would be a little lower, low quality than what I saw. Baby, you gotta watch this trailer when you get a chance. I, I don't know what else to say, guys. That was IG freaking 88. Or a, another model, uh, or that same model. You know what? I don't think IG-88 was actually, was IG-88 actually uh, an assassin droid or a droid designed for that purpose? I remember that there was a protocol droid that refitted himself to become a bounty hunter or someone refitted him. I don't remember his backstory, but I do remember in the lineup that had uh, Bosk and IG-88 and, and Boba Fett on, in The Empire Strikes Back, there was one protocol droid. He had a completely different head. It was more designed for, for ta like it was more like tactical gear than it was the standard protocol droid head. But you could tell from the body, it was 3PO's body uh, with a slightly different, different tinge. But to just see him or another, another model, uh, another, uh, that same model in action, that was epic. I mean, I was getting Disney Plus to begin with. Like, who's not getting Disney Plus besides bootleggers? Oh, also, bootleggers are those people that swear that they're not going to give Disney any more money. They're not. They're still going to watch it, though. And complain. And we're going to laugh at them. Because that was freaking awesome. Guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out this playlist over here that has other reaction videos. That's not all we do. We're switching over to more uh, review content, but we got to react to Star Trek and Star Wars because, and Marvel because this year the major franchises are just killing it. Uh, be sure to subscribe because I need to get remonetized. As you can tell, I'm starving. This is Digital Jedi saying peace out, everyone. May the Force be with you, and I'll see you over there.